Hello everyone. Today we'll be talking about Janelle Monet. Singer Janelle Monet comes out as non binary. She was on the Red Table Talk with Jada Pinkett Smith. Janelle stated that she doesn't see herself as a woman. The 36-year-old uttered, I feel all of my energy. I feel like God is so much bigger than the he or the she. And if I am from God, I am everything. I am everything. But I will always, always stand with women. I will always stand with black women. But I just see everything that I am beyond the binary. I feel like that opens you up to fall in love with any beautiful spirit. When she first came out, she was a pansexual. A pansexual is someone who doesn't see genders when dating someone. So in other words, they will date a woman, a man, a transgender, or transvestite, or whatever. However, she stated she had to own all of her before she came out to the world and her family. She came from a religious family. They called her Little Pumpkin when she was a little girl. She said she was ready to tell them, if you don't love me, don't call and ask me for no money. And I guess that's when everybody got on board. The thing that shocked me the most was when Janelle stated that she was in a polyamorous relationship. That is a relationship with multiple women. In the past, Janelle was linked to Tessa Thompson, that was in the year 2018. Nate Wonder was linked to her in 2021. They were showing a little PDA on a boat. And some people even said she dated Lapita. However, she hasn't come out and said she dated any of these people. So I guess it's all allegedly. By the way, she has a new book out called The Memory Librarian. Y'all, go and get her book. What do y'all think about her being non-binary? Do y'all support this or what? Let me know in the comments. Other news. Have y'all heard about the Don't Say Gay new law that was signed into effect um, last month? It forbids instruction on sexual orientation and gender identity for kindergarten through third grade. This allows parents to determine when and what way LGBTQ topics can be introduced to their children. Let's take a look at this video. Or what corporate media outlets say, I don't care what Hollywood says, I don't care what big corporations say, here I stand, I'm not backing down. <laughs> and so in Florida, we will make sure that parents can send their kids to school to get an education, not an indoctrination. I would have to say I agree with what he's doing. But before I tell you why I agree, with it, let's take a look at this clip where someone is disagreeing with the new law. This is a uh, politician who is creating division within a school that doesn't need to be created. Families or kids like mine who have two moms, now when they say, draw us a picture of your family. They cannot draw a picture of their family. This is about ostracizing, shaming LGBTQ kids and their families. And it's downright wrong. And what it's going to lead to, and already is, is for families and LGBTQ families, excuse me, and LGBTQ kids to feel shamed less than. And what we see... How will they be ashamed if they're just not talking about it? The next clip is from a kindergarten teacher in elementary school who is openly gay. Let's take a look at this video. That's what we do as educators. We build relationships with our kids. Yes, it is okay to build a relationship with these students, but not too deep. And in order to build relationships, you talk about your home life. You talk about what you do on the weekends. That's building community. I It scares me to death that I am not going to be able to have these conversations with my children. 
why would you want to talk about your relationship with your boyfriend with the um students because they're going to ask me what i did on the weekend i don't want to have to hide that my partner and i went paddle boarding this weekend because mm -hmm. then they ask well what does partner mean mr bernard and you know I, i'm worried can i tell them what it means i'm also worried for my kids i have a little girl this year who has two moms and the kids are curious about her two moms they want to know about her two moms well i think that the teacher should let the child ask the parent about that situation you know, if they come to, if they go to her and ask her about her two moms and she doesn't know what to say, they're going to come to me and ask me. And then, uh, you know, so what do I do? It just, it opens up uh, for parents to really take some legal action against the schools and teachers. And I, I am afraid. What do y'all think about this situation? I agree with this bill because there is no way I would want my children to talk about sex in the kindergarten through the third grade. Do not force that on my child. Why would I want my child's teacher to talk about his or her relationship with my child? It's sick and perverted, and I don't care what anybody says. They are too young. School's supposed to be about education, not sex, not gay, not transgender. When I was in school, we didn't learn about sex until the middle school. In addition, we had a choice. We didn't have to take that class unless we wanted to. In other news, a middle school teacher named Dean Wright was escorted from the school for sending nude pics to a male student in his class. The parents wanted to know why was the boy's number in his personal cell phone. Dean said the picture was meant to be sent to someone else. He was one of the teachers against the Don't Say Gay bill. He tweeted in Oregon, We say gay. I'm horrified and outraged by the anti-LGBTQAI legislation that was signed in Florida making schools a less safe space for LGBTQIA kids. Oregon will always be a safe, inclusive, and welcoming place, no matter one's sexual orientation or identity. But then you go out and do this, it kind of makes you wonder, doesn't it? Let me know in the comments what y'all think about this. I know y'all remember the boy who got his head shaved. I do not condone violence, and this was so wrong, but let's take a look at this video. Hey, now we're gonna shut them. You getting your ass beat. This what see him. We we do do what? shit, but they don't help right here. You, you say you what? Say it again. Say, uh, say it one more two, time. Two. And he liked that and shit. And you like it. And you yeah. doing, you doing the most. You still doing gay shit. You think this on the side of your head for no reason? His brother and his sister was trying to make him stop being gay. What you think is on the oh. side of your head for no reason? So why you just said that gay ass shit, bro? Why would you just say that? Why would you just say that? You ain't got shit to say? Hello? They shaved the word gay in his head to humiliate him. You ain't got shit to say? No. Hello? Sit your ass down. Are you? I keep on doing that shit. You like this type of stuff? You I thought like I wasn't going to beat your ass from last night too big. Talking all that goddamn shit. Now, you do not treat someone like that. That is wrong on all levels. And after the fact that that happened, he still went and acted gay. You hated my life. Hey, bitches, y'all already know. It's who? It's who? What they say? Ty. Doll. Boy, gonna take a long time for your line to come with the girl back. Sideburn. Y'all hold it. The next clip is a video of him after he had got taken away from his mother because of his brother and sister's action. Let's take a look at this clip. <laughs> Um, like, my brother and them, they didn't abuse me. They was just showing me, like, I shouldn't. Yeah, I'm good. They was just showing me, like, you need to stop doing that. But, you know, you know, like, I just want to get this off of my sister. Like, my sister didn't do nothing. Or my brother, they was just showing me the right thing to do. It wasn't like they was abusing me. No, it was not. They was not abusing me. He's they will never do things like that. You don't need to stop. I'm still going to be myself, but I just need y'all to, like, take that stuff down because, like, they're my siblings, and y'all, do y'all know what this is doing? Like, I wonder what he's doing and how he's doing now. Next, we're going to talk about the waves. How do you feel about this picture is 14 too young to know your sexuality? Zaya is a boy who identifies as a girl. His partner is a girl who identifies as a boy. On Easter, this picture went viral. So, in actuality, he is not gay at all. 
It's kind of confusing, but what do I know? I just feel like children should wait until they're at least 18 to 21 to figure out their sexuality. People change their mind all the time. Like, what if they got gender affirmation surgery and they realize they made a mistake? One more thing before I let you guys go. Two female women were impregnated at an all-female prison in New Jersey. A lot of people were wondering, how could this happen? However, the prison has 27 males and females transgenders. There was a lawsuit filed by the American Civil Liberties Union standing for the MTF trans because they were abused by male inmates in an all-male prison. They were transferred to Aetna Mayhan facility, and the state agreed to pay $125,000. Now, two women have gotten pregnant. By Demi Minor. One of the pregnant women was convicted of murder and felony murder for killing a couple in Hudson County. They were carjacked after leaving an engagement party in 2010. She will be up for parole in 2104 and is only 31 years old. The other woman he impregnated is 20 and will be released in 2027. She is in prison for three separate aggravated assault charges. Demi, the trans, is in prison for carjacking and aggravated manslaughter charges. Demi stabbed her foster father 24 times while burglarizing his home. Minor will be released in 2037. Do you think males and female trans should be allowed in females' prisons or should they stay in the male prison? Okay, you guys, now that you've heard all of the stories, what do you think? Do you think gay people are born that way or they choose to be that way? And don't shoot me, I'm just a messenger. I support everyone, but not when they're forcing this upon kindergartners. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more videos. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.